Okay, so a question that's been asked on the user to user forums in the past is how do you scale down and zoom in simultaneously? So uh, we're going to take a look at this technique in Camtasia 2020. I'm going to come over to this particular project. You can see I've got two pieces of footage on the timeline. I'm just going to hide this guy. So there's this drone footage and this guy is actually a 4K piece of footage shot on my iPhone. One of the developers on Camtasia, Tom, smart guy. All right, nothing special here. Shaky camera footage. You can see there's no no zoom on it. I'm just standing there uh, filming them. And so let's take a look at how we could start messing around with this. So you're going to use track mats to do this. The nice thing about a track mat is that uh, I'm just going to grab a shape here. It's just a giant rectangle that's uh, 1080p in size. And I'm going to make it the exact same length as my footage here. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this guy. Command C, Command V, Control C, Control V, depending on your platform. And I'm going to come over to the callouts and I'm going to crank down the uh, fill. And I'm actually going to make a really fat stroke here, which is going to in turn increase the size of my, my shape. So I'm just going to get this guy down and drag him up so he's nice all right close enough all right and so now i've got a border i've got a shape and i've got this piece of footage here and we're going to make one of them this shape into a track mat so we're going to make it into an alpha mat so i just context click on that eyeball and the nice thing about track mats is you can animate the mat or you can animate uh, the thing underneath the mat, right? So in this case, it's that piece of footage of Tom. So I'm just going to come out here and I'm going to add a custom animation to all three of these. So I'm going to come in. Uh, oops, I got to go to the animations tab. I'm going to add custom. I'm just going to drag out three animations here. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to show you this border right here. And this track mat right here, I'm on the last keyframe of both of those. I've got both of those track keyframes selected, right? And I'm going to zoom back on my canvas, and I'm just going to move this guy over and to the right until it's like so. And you can see my footage didn't move. I haven't done anything to this. Uh, I've got an animation there, but I haven't done anything to it, right? So all I've done is slid slid the mat over and the border over. So it's changing what area of the screen you can see, right? So now I can come in here and you can see uh, both of these super keyframes. If we look up in here, we're at 50% there. We're still at 50% at the end. And what I really want to have happen is I actually want to grab this piece of footage and I want to bring it over into the center like so. And then I want to scale them up a little bit here. So I'm going to scale them up. Uh, maybe not to 100%. Let's go to, uh, let's say, 80. And maybe I'll just readjust them a little bit. Get them centered in the frame right there. So again, the mat is only allowing this half of the screen to be seen. So the thing under it, it moved over. So let's watch this back. Come back here. Okay. Border and mat are sliding over, so is the video, and the video is also zooming in. So let's do this other thing here. Again, I'm going to select all three of these layers, or tracks, and I'm going to add a custom animation, this time with the keyboard shortcut. And this time I'm just going to, I'm going to grab them all and move them down, right? So I'm going to move them down until like this in a, the bottom right corner here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back and again just selecting the piece of video here uh, in this particular case i am just going to make this guy uh, get nice and tight here so i'll just start playing around with him until i'm happy with him you know maybe i'm maybe for this particular instance uh, i just want to show you that um we can change positions, change scale, change viewable area, 
Maybe I want to zoom up in this particular area here. We'll zoom back to, actually I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to go to my restore animation. And that's going to bring this guy back to 80%. And then I'm going to grab him and recenter and reframe how I want in that particular corner. And there you have it. You uh, can control the visible area and you control the media underneath the visible area. And as long as you're not zooming past 100%, everything's going to look really good. Once you start zooming past, then of course you'll start to get softness and uh, you know, down sampling of video and it won't look super great. You can get away with a little bit, depending on what it is, screen video. Uh, you can get away with a little bit more than uh, sometimes you can with real world footage, but you can usually get an, in, you know, punch in a little bit more with a, if we were using a camera, it would be called a software zoom as opposed to an optical zoom. So just keep that in mind. Stay underneath 100% for good quality results. Again, you're controlling and this I'll finish it off just by doing a final set of animations here. And with this one, we're just going to come back and set uh, all of these guys. It's easier if I do these two top top ones because they're the same exact size. We're going to make them. They're 100% already. We'll bring them back to right here. Again, get on this bottom one. And I know it's 4K footage, so. 50% is going to fill up my entire viewing area and I just move them into place there and lock them into center. And now I've, I've here, I'm going to zoom in on the canvas so you can see it a little bit better. And now I've finished off exactly where I wanted to. And because this is 4k, Hey, I could have zoomed like that and I could go onto this and I could go a little bit tighter. I could go to a hundred percent and Again, here we are. There's nothing magical about 4K. It's just the footage I have is bigger than my canvas or stage area, right? So, and then just as always, remember with a group, you can, well, make it self-contained, turn it into a group, turn off the track mat, if you notice inside of the group, that track mat was preserved. So now you just have your nice little group moving all around. Now, here we go. It's not actually the group that's moving. It's actually the content inside of the group. So keep that in mind. So hope this helps scale and zoom simultaneously.